In a rush and looking for something last minute for Halloween? Well, today I'm going to show you how to dye this wig from black to green. Click that subscribe button, that way you don't miss out on any other content. All right, I have two packs right here. This is by Claro Professional. I got the BW2. My wig is about shoulder length or so, but I wanted to make sure I had just enough. I went ahead and I sectioned off my wig. So let's see where it's from. So right here is the frontal piece. Um, it's a short one. I had this wig mm, probably about four years or so. And obviously I haven't worn it in a while. So this is perfect for me to use for Halloween. <laughs> so I have my mask on. I also have my black latex gloves because we are going to get ready to get the bleach together. I'm pouring in one pack of the BW2 bleach and a generous amount of the 20 developer. I wanted 30 developer so that the processing would be quicker, but this is what was available, so it'll have to do. I'm mixing it all up until it gets to a creamy consistency, just like this. For this next step, I should have been more thorough and made more parts, but as you can see, I pretty much just slapped on the bleach in sections and use my brush and hands to smooth it out evenly. This works, but it's not the best way to do it really. This was the most time consuming part, but honestly, it is the most important. So, hey, I'll know that for next time. I added the second packet of bleach and developer to make sure I could get an even coat throughout the wig. I set a timer for 20 minutes to let the bleach really sit and do its thing. All done. I'm running warm water to rinse the bleach out and then using my Shimmer Light Shampoo to help with the toning. And I know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not looking so hot right now, but keep watching, it'll get better. I went ahead and I washed my wig. So this is what the wig looks like dry. And as you can tell, it's a little bit lighter towards the back. Um, I didn't want to buy anything else, so this will just have to do. So what I did for the next step, it really made me happy that it actually worked. I did two strand tests. That way I can get an idea of whether or not it will work and these are the results so the first one this longer piece here is using both so I use emerald and electric line and I just put the test strip into this cup here and let it sit for about Mm, two minutes or so and then the second one is just electric line I feel like it came out a little bit better with the mixture so that's what I'm going to do for the whole wig now we're going to do the watercolor method for the wig I'm running hot water and adding in the adore emerald green followed by the electric line and then mixing it up until the color is exactly then I'm placing the wig in so that it can soak it all up. I'm lifting it up and you'll see that I'm adding a little more dye and letting it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. That way it really gets the color. Once I'm done, I place the wig on the mannequin head to air dry so that I could check out the results. And as you can see, there's some spots that need a little more coverage, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix those up. I poured the electric lime in my cup and giving it a good mix with warm water and applying through the strands. This time, making sure I make smaller sections. 
After that's all done, I let it sit for 10 minutes again and rinse until the water is clear. Then I take a handful of my silicone mix conditioner and rake it through my fingers just to make sure it's all even and let it do its magic for a while. It's now slipping like butter. I promise this stuff works wonders. I let it dry overnight and it's all done. My wig is perfect. I love how it came out and I may low key wear this look on a regular day. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Like what you see? Check my website out at vivalatella.com for more fashion, travel, and lifestyle content.